Hello fam and welcome back to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's 48th World. Yes fam, we back and in full effect. We talking about uh, Nene Leaks and all her catty 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 ways and Andy Cohen checking her saying, Honey, this ain't Nene first time. This ain't Nene first time calling it quits. How many phone calls have I gotten from Nene? How many phone calls have I got from the other housewives of Atlanta that just had it up to here and they call themselves leaving the show? Honey, can I count the ways? Can I count the times? Can I just put them on record for everybody to hear? Their favorite housewives, whether it's Platonic, Atlanta, uh, New Jersey, Orange County, Beverly Hills, New York. How many times have I got? I'm quitting. I'm throwing in the towel. I can't take it no more unless you want to pay me more. <laughs> Yes, Andy Cohen say he ain't here for that shit. He get phone calls on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly, talking about they can't take it no more. And we're just going to be talking about Nene Lee's because that's pretty much what he told uh, Showbiz Cheat Sheet, allegedly. Okay, yes, I'm getting this story. And it's written by Armando Tenneco, who's over there working, employed independently, or probably on their payroll uh, permanently. Um, with showbiz cheat sheet. He gives a titled article, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Andy Cohen talks about NeNe Leakes quitting housewives rumors. Okay, that's what they are, rumors. Yes, go around in circles. Yes, uh-huh. Okay, but anyway, we get on right on into that story. It says, Nene Leakes has been absent from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The OG star missed out on the first two episodes as negotiations for season 12 um, of the show were prolonged. That's Nene's story. She's sticking with it. But we and the fam over here, we really feel hell. That just came uh, from a consequence of putting her hands on that cameraman. Okay? And she had to miss out on some money. So, we got our stance over here. Nene got her stance and Bravo got theirs. It's just up to whoever you want to believe. All right, that's all it is. Just whoever you want to believe, guys. But getting back to the article, it says, Even after the leaks made her comeback, she has not been heavily featured like other seasons. The latter has propelled fans to believe that she is on the verge of quitting the Bravo series. My sidebar and my family know I have said it on countless videos. Nene ain't going nowhere. Where's she going to go? Where's she going to go and have this residual income coming in um, per episode and when they give her her check in one lump song when she's finished taping or however they get down. She is not going to leave Bravo. More than likely Bravo is going to have to cut her loose and she knows it's coming and she got to go where she got to go. But hopefully she lands on her feet, get on another reality show and just keep it rocking. Okay, because we want the best for all our Real Housewives of Atlanta. We want them to prevail and avail everything prosperous. Okay, uh, but leaving that, that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said... Um, Wendy Williams revealed on her show that Leaks had texted her and said she was quitting Real Housewives of Atlanta. The talk show host did not reveal why the reality star wanted to leave, but advised her to stay. Now, family over here, I've heard some of the uh, things that they expressed about, you know, Nene leaving and this, that, and the third, and they don't believe it either. And, you know, I'm going to say it's PR. PR stunts being pulled, being put out there for relevancy for the show as well as the entertainers of the show, which is Nene Leakes and her co-stars, as well as the rest of the franchise of Real Housewives. I'm not, yeah, Real Housewives and them, how they get down, you know, on the different platforms of the different uh, states that they're housing Real Housewives in. Okay, they just go back and forth, go back and forth, and uh, and is telling us how it is really done behind the scenes. Everyone says they want to quit at some point of their time in the Housewives franchise, but we see unless they do something really def uh, defamational of character, or it's just really something that you know litigation needs to be taken 
uh, up on, then you, we're looking at a situation like Phaedra Pauls, okay? And we know how that had went down and all the speculations and the truth that was revealed and why she is no longer on the show. It wasn't because she wanted to leave the show herself. Bravo exited her out, but they let her tell the story however she wanted to put it, okay? But we know Phaedra got fired. Yes, we know she got fired and she want to come back, okay? She keep knocking, but they ain't answering. She keep knocking, but they ain't answering. So, Fred, you continue to go on and practice your law and your mortician-type work and be be fabulous in that. But leave entertainment alone, baby. Leave entertainment. Just represent folks. Don't try to get back in the line, like, because you can't do both of them without getting in trouble some way in some form or fashion. Okay, that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, um... Oh, uh, okay. The, the talk show host did not reveal why the reality star wanted to leave, but advised her to stay. Okay, because when say, I ain't got no money to bar let you borrow while you try to figure out what's your next move after they done threw you off or you don't quit on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, no, I need you to stay, girl. Now, that's not in this article. That's just me putting my two cents in. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, After weeks of rumors, Housewives' father, Andy Cohen, is reacting to leaks possibly wanting to leave. So, when did Andy Cohen become the author of their destination as well as ending their careers? When did he become their father, their dad, or the show? Hell, half I'm older than him. And he become, oh, oh, my, my, my child. He ain't nobody a dad. He ain't nobody a father. He's just an executive running things. That's it. But anyway, going back to the article, it says a lot of people have been talking about Nene Leakes texting Wendy Williams saying that she quit. The housewives Cohen told Entertainment Tonight, that's E.T., y'all, I was telling someone, look, I get text messages from housewives all the time saying, quote, I quit. That's it. I quit. So I say, okay, let's take a pause. Let's talk tomorrow because maybe if we talk tomorrow, you won't feel as heated as you do today about it. So it's a natural process of the evolution of being a housewife that you quit to me several times. Now that's quoted by Andy Cohen himself. Get into it, white and black. His words, not mine. Okay, that they put in this article. So it's pretty much something that the women do on the spur of the moment when they in heated conversations about their contrast or how people are coming after them or how social media portrays them in the streets and all the comments and goings of the negativity they got to deal with. Yes, Andy Cohen has said that's just a part of the process, baby. If you like it, I love it. If you want to leave, you can't come back, okay? But it's your decision. <laughs> just as long as you don't do any infractions over here. That's going to make me say, no, 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 no. Let, let Phaedra Park's uh, demise speak for the rest of y'all. Don't do stuff that y'all know going to kick y'all off the show. Because I can't hold you. I can't hold you down. Once you did that infraction, that infringement, I, I've got to cut ties. We've got to part ways, but I wish you well. Yes, the Real Housewives franchise, all it has is being in jail sometimes. He got to size them up. From show to show, from sea to shine to sea. You want to act a fool on this show? That's good. That's going to solidify yourself for next season. But if you want to do some infractions and felony charges and stuff brought that the law going to want us to come and testify, now nah, you got to go. We can't get into none of that. That's what Bravo and Annie is telling uh, these housewives and especially Nene. Uh, keep going off on her um, soapbox saying she want to leave, she want to leave. Like, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We'll find somebody else. And we'll probably be grooming somebody else as we speak. Okay? We just waiting and seeing what you going to do before we play our card. Okay? Because remember, the entertainment industry... Very satanic type business to be in from the get-go. And they always playing chess on y'all. They think y'all playing chess, but y'all playing Uno out there, okay? Different stage, different rules, okay? But going back, that's just my sidebar. Um, and it goes about talking about Kenya Moore and Nene's feud. We don't want to hear about all that. That's just recycled news. Uh, Kenya brings up, uh, they bring in Kenya's uh, part she plays with the upcoming 
episode where Nene gets to a stance where she wants to spit on folks, but it never actually happens. It's just the act of trying to do that that gets her in trouble. Then we go to where the article is talking or speaking on Wendy Williams makes an appearance on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, the appearance was her just on video or I should say audio. Uh, but it goes on to say Williams has been caught in the middle of all the Real Housewives of Atlanta drama and will make an appearance on the show. I'm on the phone with Nene and I knew that I was being recorded. Williams revealed on the show. So see that's what I'm saying. Uh, to get permission for audio or video to be used, they have to have the permission of that person. Or for how us as YouTube, YouTube content creators, we use it just for commentary or explaining certain situations as reviews and um, for that light, not for nothing else to be putting malicious or defamation of character, but just to find some understanding and talk about it. Uh, I'm not saying that we're putting it out here as factual stuff unless it comes to us on social media and it's breaking through our local TV stations or uh, wherever we stay, whatever state, that that's the gospel of truth. That's it. That's it. That's it. And, you know, like Kobe Bryant's death, they reported on all the local news stations throughout the world. Kobe Bryant died in a... Um, uh, plane helicopter helicopter accident and that was just facts and you had your people uh youtube content creators media uh commentators correspondents everybody the whole thing was just lit about his death but they can't actually put something out there because people can come back and do litigation uh they can put you have you sold up in uh the court uh for defamation of character for destroying their livelihoods the, the, you know it can just go a big old thing but you know when you got facts like that it you know it can't it's not it can't be disputed. It's undisputed truth. So, you know, people can freely talk about it because it actually was, his death was due to a helicopter plane accident. So, a lot of outlets or social media bloggers or content creators were out there like ham hey, on it. I chose not to do it because, you know, I don't like to really speak on people's deaths and, and how it transpired. It's just a bad situation, especially when it comes out the unexpected. So, it is just what it is. I'm pretty sure a lot of people did it very nicely. Uh, just trying to get the information out to the masses for the ones that really don't look at TV or get a uh, newspaper or anything like that. Then they choose to use social media as their um, informant of information. You know, so it's good that people are out there reporting everything and anything for uh, people that care about those type of things. All right, but going back to the article, it says the former radio host said that leaks had initially uh, invited her to appear on camera, but she declined. However, she did authorize cameras to record her call with leaks. Um, give these girls friendship and love. Williams is heard advising leaks. Uh, so, like I said, some of this stuff is just pretty darn well scripted out uh, because ain't no way in, you, in the world you could just, uh, I'm going to call, you know, one of the hottest gossip uh, talents out there. They have a uh, platform and they get millions of gazillion views on a daily when they come on, you know, the television screen and promote their commentary. Uh, ain't no way in the world Nene could pick up a phone and say, okay, we're going to do this on the spur of the moment. It's live. Nah, you got to have a written permission and all that stuff had to take place. That's why it's called taping. And, you know, it's not really uh, per se the truth of this is how these people really get down. Only when they do infractions and it's coming on your local TV stations and stuff of that new <laughs> that entertainment news session that they get you in the act. And then you got the people that's vloggers out there and, and content YouTube creators that's going to caught you too. And, and it's coming off your platform, meaning your social media background that you use as an outlet to keep up with your fans, your followers, or however you view the people that love you and support you. Um, in all your uh, endeavors, whether they're buying merchandise from you or they're just looking at the shows you're on and talking and, and, and doing good things or writing into, you know, stations and stuff like that or putting it on social media that they adore you. Um, that keeps you around for, you know, longevity or till they get tired and just want to end the show altogether. But, uh, yeah, so going back to the article, it says that's the drama Real Housewives. Of Atlanta continues to unfold. Fans will witness the division in the cast. The Real Housewives of Atlanta airs on, you know, it tells about the airing time and all that good stuff. 
But yeah, honey, what y'all think about that? And they coming in there checking them, telling them, uh-uh, I get these calls all the time. Don't take that shit serious. These women know they getting um six, seven-figure salaries, and they can't get it no way else. They can't go into a profession because half of them didn't even complete college. They just had high school diplomas if they even got that. But they had a appetite for the entertainment business and they wanted to go on and see what they can do for themselves as independent contractors or entrepreneurs and see how they can fare you know and that's a that's a good subject because everybody don't have to i would say get your post-secondary education out the high school but everybody can't do it and hell you have people in high school making million dollars now supporting their families because you know they on this youtube thing and uh doing prankster type uh skits and whatnot and people just enjoy it and they love it and they blow up overnight so then it is to question why should i complete school but i think you know the fundamentals of completing high school at least is something everybody should strive for and then whether you go into college and post-secondary education and getting other professionalism skills talents under your belt that's you I mean, you just might have a knack of doing YouTube and people gravitate to you. They love your commentary. If you ain't doing them, but just talking about salad, you know what I'm saying? They just engulfed in your every word. They lean on your every word, you know, then that's the audience for you. And I say, hey, if you could do it, make money off of it and it's not really harming anybody. Uh, then yes, go do it, you know, because it's stressful out here trying to keep up with the um, the daily routines of getting to work and going through all that traffic and dealing with other people and i mean it takes skill to do that honey it takes skill and tenacity but you don't want to be in poverty either so i suggest get you a hustle make it legit and just keep riding this thing called life okay until it ends up where you're on going out the world and transitioning you know what i'm saying but live your best life and live it with harmony and peace around with the people you have to get down with because i love y'all fam i love y'all sometimes y'all get on my nerves and i had to check y'all you know tap y'all hands here and there but you know i love y'all as my co-host i love y'all as my family i love it when we get on here y'all interacting them com uh comments down in the comment section and y'all just be letting have you know what i'm saying but like i said i always do things respectfully you know because people do have their own opinions they're very passionate with what they feel they love who they love they support who they support i just don't like the banter when we get all out our name we start calling folks out their name don't even know these folks you know what i'm saying and y'all be going in on them and stuff like that i'm like nah just be be respectful speak your mind have your peace and let it be you know what i'm saying and just let's uh, dive into the next episode or what i'm putting out there okay so i will see y'all next video but y'all continue to subscribe to my channel be nice with each other share my video show love on me and let's blow up together people let's get in this conversation and come on and have with me whenever you choose to turn me on whether it's the morning afternoon or evening it's all good and gravy like we just slopping it down like some good gravy white gravy over some rice and some uh, steak or or or, or whatever you get down with chicken and let's eat up together let's drink and be merry and let's talk some shit okay because that's all it is over here we just talking shit oh uh, trying to understand these celebrities or these so-called celebrities and how they living out here and acting in true form <laughs> just mildly entertainment drama to just you know so we can just uh down grade ourselves on being on 10 and 11 and 13 14 15 uh, octaves because you know it just gets stressful out here so we need a little outlet when it's called entertainment okay but y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye